Everything's fine. We've just killed like a third of the student, a fourth of the student body, right? But our deadline's coming up. We've got to get to this. Okay. So, yes, we'll go. We'll go to school because there's no one in the basement. And let's see. Don't need any of those. But we're gonna go and pick up our syringe and our tranquilizer or whatever it is. I can't remember what we're calling it these days. Drugs. Picking them up. Oh, it is a tranquilizer. I knew that. Don't mind me, nurse. Really appreciate you just leaving these things out for anyone to get. Specifically me. Mostly just me, actually. Just close this. And I don't think I need to wait for anybody. Um... Yeah, no, I ain't, I ain't waiting for you folk. I have no regrets killing green haired kid. Less people coming to school these days. Everybody's getting sick, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad that kid's dead. Okay, time to learn my biology so I can be a more efficient killing machine. So I can get my robot grades higher. That's all this game really is. You're a robot with emotional problems that's now designed or discovered that it loves a boy that cannot love you back and you must kill everyone as efficiently as possible. I would play that game. I'm playing it now. Why am I coming down here? I don't, I don't need to do that. Okay. Just gonna go back to class. I mean, s screw all y'all. I don't care about lunch. Okay. Full level biology. Biology rank up. You have enough knowledge of medicine and the human body to administer a tranquilizer. Yes! The tranquilizer can be only used on your current rival. The tranquilizer can be used... Can only be used in the storage room inside of the gym. Okay. Also good, because I was going to try and kill him behind school grounds. So. Hey, friend. How lovely you look today, green hair girl. What happened to green hair guy? D didn't, don't you want to know? No? Yeah, because you're dumb. Has anyone told you you're dumb? Yeah, just follow me. We're best friends classmates. No problem, weird stuff. Everything is fine. Let's just head over to the storage gym. Come on, to the gym storage. Right over here where everybody hangs out because that's where the cool stuff is. Don't ask me. I just know the stuff. Okay. You want to just... Hey, you want to maybe open up? Yeah. Maybe... Hey, come on. Check it out. Pretty cool storage, right? Yeah. Um. Hey... Green hair girl, I got something to tell you. Um, I'm gonna stab you now. Oh, snap, and you didn't die and get blood all over me. And you're adorably sleeping. Oh, that is adorable. Can this, yeah, this is what I throw you in. Okay, what the? I am really well at packing people. Will you stay there and be good? I need to go kill another person, probably. You're starting to walk a little weird. Are you being twitchy? You're being twitchy again. Oh, I better close this door just in case. Let's just cover our tracks. So we were able to kidnap someone. Well, soon, I mean, we'll soon be able to. They're, they're in proto stages of kidnapping. Nothing official. Oh, now we'll leave purple hair guy, blue hair guy. Red hair guy. What is this? Make it out? What is going on here? I will not have any of this. I will take a... Oh, well, now you're not doing it. Well, fine, but I'm saving it. Maybe talk to you, blonde guy. Oh, I'll give you a compliment. I don't see why not. That of, of course that's nice of me to say. I'm glad you at least recognize that as a decent person, human being type. Now it's time for me to show you something way cool. Oh wait, I don't have a weapon on hand. Um, 
Hopefully, wait, how slow are you at running? I'm hoping really slow. Be slow. Okay, I may have time. I may have time. Nope, didn't have time. Shoot. Hey, um, do me a favor. Stop following me for a second. There you go. Cool. Life, quick, come here. Oh, I still had the syringe. I could have just used that. Why didn't you just ask? Da -da -da. F follow me. Yep, yeah, everything's fine. No, yeah, leading the way. Perfect. I gotta clean up this school. It's just full of trashy kids and they're stupid being shy and bashful. I'm gonna save them all from themselves. So you can probably stop following me now because you're dead. You're dead. Oh, and I got blood. And y'all oh, bleed and every... Everyone keeps doing that awesome dance. I want to do this dance. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Everybody just doing dance dance. Dance around. Yeah, come on. Pick him up. There you go. Yeah, right by the foot. Great. And the music's gone sad. Ha! Judo toss. All right, now let's just maybe... Uh, so far, no one seems to be noticing anything I'm doing, which is fine by me. Let's take care of that. Maybe uh, clean up some stuff here. Just the pools of blood, mostly. Mo mostly just that. All right. Um, okay, looks like we're doing a bit. Oh, dang it, the end of the day. Here's what I don't get. How on earth? Yeah, see, this is what I find really confusing. Like, how the heck? Is it just a weird thing that you do every so often? You just drop bloody footprints? Okay. There we go. And we're... Oh, shoot. I should have probably tried getting rid of that. Um, Maybe no one will notice. Ah, son of... Lousy freaking... Stop getting blood everywhere. Okay. And clean it. All right, I think I can keep the syringe. I think I ought to. I mean, what if I need it? All right. Well, I think we're good. Time to go. Uh, been a busy day. Yep, there's everyone else. Let's just wait. Okay. Yandere-chan leaves school, returns home, and waits until the clock strikes midnight. Under cover of darkness, Yandere-chan travels back to school and sneaks inside of the gym. Yandere-chan returns to the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim. She has a name, man. Narrator. She pushes the case back to her house, pretending to be a young musician returning home from a show. Yandere-chan drags the case down to her basement and ties up her victim. And now we're going to check this out. And it's the deadline! We gotta see what this is all about. I didn't have a rival, from what I understood. So... Oh, but today is the deadline. It's a busy day. Let's see what to wear. Probably... Black ones. Yeah, we'll go with that. Good call. I don't think these panties actually do anything, though. Let's check out the basement. Go. Whoa! Blue hair girl? Wait. Who did I... Did you... You look different. And... Black. Oh, there's a power outlet. Why are you dressed in black? Now. Why are you not... I guess you're sad. Can I... I can't even do anything. I just have you kidnapped. Just staring at you being kidnapped. But that's fine too. Good. You stay here, I have to go to school. You're not allowed to go anymore. Ever. Nobody likes you. Um, they, asked, they asked if I could just, you know, do this for them. Time to take out the good old favorite screwdriver. And we'll just see what happens. I don't know what happens after the deadline, though. So I'm just curious to see what goes on there. I may actually just speed through the rest. Just to see what's going on. Yeah. I mean, how many did I kill at this point? Kidnapped one. Blue hair, purple hair. Um. Green hair. That's who I kidnapped. Some guy and some other guy. 
That was a six. That's like half the student body right there. Um, I'm surprised no one's gotten suspicious of my suspicious doings and actions. Causing some trouble and mayhem and murder. Mostly murder. Nobody seems to have minded that. Um, so, yeah. Can I kidnap someone else if I need to? I mean, I'm going to grab. Hey, nurse. I'm just coming to pick up my stuff. Don't mind me. Thanks, nurse. And I'm going to phase through some stuff. You don't worry about it. You're a nurse. You've seen it, probably. That happens all the time. Let's just go to class. I think, yeah, that's right. Okay, so maybe psychology? I mean, we could learn more psychology. See what we can do with that. I don't know, though. I mean, even with uh, phys ed in the end, we couldn't, it didn't really, or at least the first level of phys ed didn't do anything. I mean, I'm thinking about, yeah, I just want to see what happens at the end of the day. Let's just go to the end of the day then. Let's just get this over with and see what happens. I don't think, nobody is my rival. From No one had a crush. I can't kill the people I want to kill. As we've seen, those that are basically impervious to my killings, the nurse, and... Oh, I can't see her. Wait, what was that? On my neck. Oh, that was just shading. Okay. For a second, I thought it was bruising and that maybe Yandere's dad beat her or something, which would have been an interesting plot twist. Um, because I can't kill the people I want to kill or I'm most interested in killing. Red hair. Um... Yeah, and let's see here. And then, yeah. Or orange hair, actually. I just want to kill you. I want to know who you are. I also want to know... Do I not get any favors? Like... Improve my reputation. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, nope. Okay. Didn't work. Well... Not even like a... I can't do this! Okay, here... Here's something we're gonna try. Nope, not even a prompt. Clicking doesn't do anything. Can I... Oh, now I'm visibly armed. Oh yeah, I guess this is kind of innocuous. That is, rather, yeah. I should have just been walking around with this screwdriver the whole time. Nobody would have thought anything about it. Alright. Let's just go home and see what happens after school today. Has failed to eliminate her rival before Friday evening. The girl asked Senpai to meet her under the cherry tree behind school. I killed someone there. As the cherry blossoms fall all around them, the girl confesses her feelings for Senpai. No. Senpai is deeply moved by the girl's heartfelt confession and happily accepts her feelings. Jandere Chen watches tearfully as Senpai is stolen from her. No! Why? Heartbroken! Again. I didn't... There wasn't... Nobody had a crush on him. Unless it was the nurse. Could it be? Or orange hair is what I was thinking. Can I snap? Let me, let me snap. Stop it, sad music. Just let me go crazy. And kill everybody. Not even. What? Okay, dang it. Shoot. Well, at least we were able to finally kidnap somebody. I'm calling this mission sort of accomplished. Sure, our heart got broken, but now we've got some schoolgirl tied up in our basement. Great.